What up, guys? It's Tops, and I'm back for Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy Part 15. Wow. It's already been 15 parts, guys. Uh, let's go t uh, to... Let me see. How about toy time? Um, I started this video right from the engine room, so we can get to things quickly. Uh, let's start. I've been doing that a lot recently, actually. I haven't been starting from right when I opened the file. Um, you know, maybe I should go back to that. I don't know. Does it matter to you guys? Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. What? That does not look like Mecha Bowser. Mecha Bowser is the one from Super Mario Sunshine. Yes! Oh, wow, look, it's Captain Toad. Let's go talk to... Wait. 12 seconds into the video and I already die. Okay, let's restart that. I'm gonna wait till Captain Toad comes because I want to talk to Captain Toad. I hate you, Blue Toad. Why are you ever a playable character in Super Mario 3D World? Why do you deserve to be one? But Captain Toad, well, Captain Toad is, but he can't even jump. That's just pathetic. All right, Captain Toad, I'm gonna talk to you. Really? All you have to say is we. Now, it's kind of funny because that's the name of this console. But, all right, let's just continue on with this. Get these star bits. And, all right. These are Mecha Koopas, which were also from Sunshine, except, no, they were from Mario World first. Okay, this robot's friends have been kidnapped. Okay, so these are the robots that uh, we first saw in Battle Rock Galaxy, the one who asked us to blow up the trash. Yeah, those guys. Um, so, we're going to be seeing a lot of them in this galaxy. Uh, we could do this. What does that do? I forget exactly. I think we have to loosen more of those screws, maybe? I don't know. And this is where the gravity starts to get all weird. Later on in the game, yeah, gravity starts to get like this. Even though it has been somewhat uh, for, like, the beginning of the game, too. Uh, towards the end, gravity starts to get harder and harder. Because, you know, the game gets harder as it goes on. That would be stupid if it was easy the whole time. But, wait, what is this? No, not another black hole. Why? I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, let's start again. Don't really even know what I'm doing with this screw, but whatever. Doesn't seem like anything happens once you get rid of it, but whatever. For some reason, that's there. I think that's there just to, like, troll you or whatever. Uh, so let's just go on with this. I'm not even gonna get that blue one done. I'm just gonna go right here. And I'm gonna hop back to the bottom. And see what I can do over there. That'll get me across. Okay, so there's this screw, too. Huh. Thought that was gonna do something. What is talking to this guy do? Scrap those fire-breathing turtle things with a heavy gun. Okay. Wait, can I go like this? No. What happens if I do- Okay, I thought I might have been able to blast over there. Oh, but if I go in this hole, then I could Turn this, which- oh, okay, that's how you do it. Why is Mario doing backflips when I'm clearly pressing forward? Okay, um... Let's just get out of here, because this has been very confusing. Um, let's get on with this level and play with some toys. Come on. Everybody loves toys, right? No? Just me? I don't even remember. I remember when I was little and, like, toys were, like, life. <laughs> life was toys. You'd go to your friend's house and you just bring this giant bag of toys and just, like, dump it all on the floor. Those were the good old childhood days. Alright, so we have this new power-up now. Uh, the spring mushroom. Um, where we could, like, hop around as much as we want. And, do you hear the music? Does it sound like this has a timer? Nope, it doesn't. And I'm so happy. I love power-ups that don't have a timer. I think it's really stupid when there's a timer on the power-ups rather than... Uh, they go away when you get hit by an enemy. I think it's kind of super good with fire flower and ice flower like that. The bee mushroom isn't like that, right? No, it isn't. Uh, the boom mushroom isn't like that. Maybe it's just the mushrooms that aren't like that and the flowers are timers in this game. I didn't even realize that because this is the spring mushroom too. I guess that's how this game is. Never put two and two together. Wow. 
All right, so it looks like this is just a bonus place, but I want to see what this is. Can I get up here? Okay, good. Oh, wow, that's a lot of star bits. All those star bits. Okay, those will come in handy to feed some hungry lumas, I guess, if we need to later on. Um, I was just about to do a long jump over there to that platform, but then I realized, wait a minute, springs can't do long jumps. Okay, that's the only bad thing about the spring. It takes really long to get places, but whatever. That's gonna hurt Mario. Like, he's jumping on his head. Yeah, that, that has to be painful, actually, now that I think about it. And this thing is... Seems like it... Okay, that was actually easy to dodge. It looked like it was gonna be hard to, but I guess not. And that was actually quite easy. Okay, so the springs disappear when you go to launch stars, which makes sense. I really wish the fire flowers and ice flowers would do something like that rather than go away after a limited amount of time, but, you know, I guess Nintendo felt like making it this way. And again, we're gonna get a spring mushroom. Okay. I'm surprised they introduced a power-up so late into the game. Like, it doesn't really make sense because we're already at the fifth area, like, this is, it's not like the end of the game, but it's pretty far into it to be announcing like a new power up. Or not announcing, but like revealing one, showcasing it off for the first time. I don't know what I'm saying. And this is not the Mecha Bowser that is the original one from Sunshine. This is just a stupid toy version of it that doesn't even look anything like the real Mecha Bowser, but whatever. It's kind of funny because this level is a lot like Mega Leg now that I think about it. Can I do that? Or no. Nope, you can't jump from one to like but we could, but I guess not. I wonder what this orange pipe is, because I don't think we've gone in orange pipes before. Oh, that's what they did. Uh, okay. And can I get rid of this screw anytime soon? Why is it doing this? Okay. Oh wow. So there's a lot to this actually. We gotta get all four of these screws on now. Realistically, with three, it should just, like, slide over to the side, but, you know, I guess not. Whatever. Oh, wait. We can go here now. Okay. It's really weird how this gravity works now, but, you know, whatever. It makes for... Having, like, weird uses of the gravity like this uh, makes for some really fun gameplay, actually. I know for some people it'll just make them dizzy playing this game, but you no, know, for me it just seems more fun. Like, there's so much more stuff you could do with having gravity like this. That's why Mario Galaxy is one of the best Mario games like this. I know how, like, 64 is the best in a lot of people's opinions or whatever. I actually liked Mario World, that was one of my favorites, and Sunshine, which a lot of people hated for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Because I thought Sunshine was a really good game. It was different, but hey, guess what? Galaxy's different too. And everybody loved Galaxy. I, I don't really get everybody sometimes in Nintendo games. They want innovation. Like, everybody's like, oh, we need more innovation. Um, but then when a game like Sunshine comes out that actually has innovation in it, everybody hates it. And then Call of Duty, a game that pretty much stays the same forever, and everyone complains about it, they keep buying it. I don't really understand. Whatever. I know how Game Theory did that on the video on, specifically on that, how people uh, really don't want innovation in games, but that was just my version of it or whatever, I guess you could say. Oh wow, we were able to do that without the spring. That last part. Okay, that was good, because I didn't want to go all the way back to get that spring. And we destroyed Toy Mecha Bowser. Alright. And now the robot people are all happy, and they're like, here, take this star. Right? I don't have to blow up any more of your trash? Okay, so here is the first star of this episode, I think. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we're at 43 now. And we have a ton of star bits. We should probably just pay a hungry Luma at this point. Um, I'm sorry if you guys hear that background noise. That's just me moving around <laughs> trying to get comfortable in this chair. 
Alright, let's go for one more toy time, because I love this galaxy. I probably should have went to the other galaxies to, uh, to check those out, but I guess I'll do that after this one. Oh, this one's actually really cool. It's not really related to toys at all, but it's fun, so that's all that matters, right? Alright, Mario meets Mario. And as the title suggests, yeah, there's going to be another Mario in this game. Not going to be Shadow Mario or anything like that. It's a little bit different than that. Let me see if I can long jump with this train. I know there's no point in that because we're just going to have to stand on the train and wait uh, here now. All systems are go. Why? Because I say so. Okay. I think there's actually a level before the Mario part. Yeah, you have to actually go and explore some stuff first. So let's start first and get... What are we, what are we doing right now? Alright, we gotta go up here. No, I'm not gonna feed that hungry Luma fatso right there. No, skip. I didn't even bother reading that because I've just read it so many times. And I don't want to feed those stupid hungry Lumas anymore. Really, how fat are they? Okay, let's get up here. I don't even think we have to feed them because we can just get these star bits and we'll fly away with those, right? Let me just grab from this guy. Okay, that brings... Oh, we didn't go up here yet. Okay. Is there another one here? Okay, there's three. And this will probably provide us access to four. And I'm pretty sure we missed five from the beginning, so what is Mario doing? Glitching out with those gravity controls, isn't he? Okay, now we can get four. I'm pretty sure five is all the way back to the beginning, but we just missed that earlier on. So let me get up here. Or should I say down here? I don't really know. Up or down, whatever. This game is, you know, gravity in this game. It doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah, we did miss one. And that guy's about to kill us. Great. Are we gonna survive this? I don't know. Are you kidding me? I ground pound on, on him. I was... The shadow was literally on his head. And... No. Why? Crap, this guy's actually really hard. I jumped. Did the game not sense, like, that? did it not know that I pressed down on the button and it clicked? Whatever, I'm getting too worked up over this. It's just my life. I don't have to worry that much about it. It's not like I finished the level now. I have to start from the beginning of the entire game. That would actually really suck. But let's just get these started. So that's what I'm doing. Is it gonna let me? You know, like, jump up? Okay. Three. We're almost done with this, actually. Now we just gotta go to the top of the screw and then the bottom of the screw, get it all in. Screw it! Ha, you see what I did there? It was just a, it was a bad joke, wasn't it? Me and my bad jokes. Alright, let's. That was actually a big period of silence there. A little bit awkward. But here it is. Let's just get on this launch star and get out of this place. Because I want to just get to Mario now. Because this is the best part. This is really cool how they did this. Those green panels are the ones that go away when you step on them. Remember those? Yep, they make up Mario, which means that this is pretty much a one-shot attempt that you have to do this in. So, let's just get all these stars quick. Oh, and these yellow ones, those spaces are... Why did I grab down there? Uh, those spaces, like, start turning and stuff, which makes it pretty hard. So, the goal of this is to step on as little uh, green spaces as possible. The yellow spaces, it's not so bad if you step on them, because all they do is spin. I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world. We have three now. I really wish it was easier to change the camera around. So as you see, I'm going to be doing a lot of jumps because I don't want to just like destroy all these green spaces because, um, you know, it's going to make it that much harder. And I'm pretty sure uh, towards the end of this, we're going to have to go back to the middle for the uh, star because all the silver stars combine into one star, which is located usually far from you. <laughs> 
Where are they gonna go back to the beginning? Okay, yeah, that is where they're going. Good thing I left all those spaces open at the beginning. Because people would just like to run around and collapse them all. Well, now it's pretty much impossible for you to get the star. Alright, we got that one, and it looks like we have... Um... Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we have enough time to maybe do an attempt at another one, I guess? I don't know. We're up to 44 stars now, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to save my game quite yet. Now we got the sea slide, the gold leaf. Let's go to the sea slide and try one. <laughs> Going after Guppy. Pretty sure Guppy is the name of a penguin. And you have to like chase him around this arena or something or race him. Oh no, he's a shark. Okay. It's kind of weird how sharks are like friendly or whatever, but whatever. This is a Mario game. I actually also forgot that sharks are in Mario games, other than like when they're enemies in New Super Mario Bros. Wait, can I talk to him? Oh, he's been causing trouble. Okay. Alright. So let's go, uh, let's go talk some sense into this guy. Yeah, let's go get this punk. You gonna answer me? Now, who do we have here? You some friend of those penguins? Let's get some clear here, Landwalker. This is mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make through eight rings. Okay, let's go. We're gonna have to actually swim really fast here. Um, to be able to get through these rings in time. Oh, let's actually take this shell right here. Because that'll just make it a lot faster. I'm pretty sure if you don't catch up with... Uh, if you don't, like, keep up with the shark, then, uh, you fail. So, we need the shell so we can stay close to him. Shell going faster also makes it a little bit harder to get right into those rings to position yourself in time. But I'm pretty sure we can do that on our own. Okay, so every time he spins, that's when he's gonna make a ring. So, we have to watch for that. Alright, let's go and try and... Oh, crap. I just made that. Oh, that was so close. Pretty sure you can't go into those tornado things or whatever they are. Those whirlpools. I think that's what. Yeah, I think it's whirlpools. Crap. He is pretty far ahead of us now. Come on, don't get a game over. Where is he? Okay, this isn't gonna close, is it? Okay, good. It just went up, which actually helps us. That's the last ring, wow. All right, that wasn't so hard, unless he does this zero ring, which I don't think he does. Nope. That was a really quick star, actually. Um, let's just throw this off. And take the star. Okay, that was actually quite easy. Um, I hope this video is entertaining for you guys. Um, those were a little bit hard before that first mission, actually. Um, with the gravity and stuff, but, you know, this game is just getting better and better. Playing it again is just so amazing, and I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we discovered an enemy base? Okay. So, it looks like Bowser Jr. level's already open. I'm gonna save it, but I'm not gonna go to that level, guys, because I wanna get some more stars first. And this is about it for this episode. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you'll be notified when I upload my next part of this series. Alright guys, this is Tops, and I'm out.